Good morning, church. Uh, I hope you've had a good week and are ready to join us uh, for our online worship. I first want to apologize. I usually try to dress a little bit better before I do this, but I'm so pumped up about the game tonight uh, on Thursday night for Kansas City to start playing football that I just totally forgot. So you'll just have to look at my sweatshirt and say, well, that's Eric. I'd also like to uh, take a moment to uh, share a couple of uh, opportunities that we have to continue our partnership with Franklin Elementary. Uh, the school district has been providing hotspots for those students that are doing online learning uh, that don't have internet available in their house. And we see that as an opportunity uh, for us to uh, continue our dealings with Franklin. Uh, we thought about opening up our building and letting the students come here and use our internet, but our internet is not all that strong and we would have to do a lot of cleaning and, and disinfecting and that kind of thing, and we thought maybe this would be a better opportunity. Uh, they can provide a hotspot for a year for a family that needs it in their household for $120, and so we're going to be uh, taking donations to uh, gather money for that. I would like to provide them with 10 hotspots at least. So if you would like to donate to that, uh, just make your checks payable to the church and earmark them hotspots. And we will uh, get that stuff gathered together and then present a check to the district to help them with this. So we really would appreciate your support in this. And then some of you got the um, email uh, this past week about the tragedy that a couple of the families at Franklin have experienced. And uh, Suzanne, just the principal there, just she just really wants us to pray for those families and the difficult situation that they're in right now. And then also pray for the staff and the students that, that know these kids and are, are having to deal with this. Uh, these kids will be back in school at some point and they're just going to need a lot of support and help. And so just to pray for the families and for the staff and the students so that uh, those families can uh, find the comfort that they need and then uh, get along, get on with their lives. Uh, as we begin, I'd just like to read from Romans chapter 5 verses 8 through 11. But here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The blood of Christ has made us right with God. So we are even more sure that Jesus will save us from God's anger. Once we were God's enemies, but we have been brought back to him because his son died for us. Now that God has brought us back, we are even more secure. We know that we will be saved because Christ lives. And that is not all. We are full of joy in God because of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of him, God has brought us back to himself. Let's celebrate in song. 